Joining me in the studio, I got Jared Barrick. He is the USAG Humphreys Family and MWR CYSS Youth Services Director. That is correct. Take a break, though. You have to get another guest in here. It's like a long time. <laughs> I had to take like seven breaths to kind of get that uh, title uh, in there. But I appreciate you being here, Jared. You've been on the air before many times, and I've had at least a couple with you on air. Yeah, absolutely. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks for having me again. Absolutely. I appreciate you being here. And also, Jewel Beth here Hi. as well. Uh, I've met you previously. I don't think on air yet. No, this is the first time. But uh, I appreciate you being here. And uh, for someone who's listening for the very first time, and maybe they don't know who you are, who are you? I am Jewel Beth, and I am the host of YCTV. Wow, you said that so profesh. <laughs> I liked that. Uh, YCTV, for those of you listening right now, you have no idea what that is. It's what it kind of sounds like, Youth Center Television, is that yep. correct? Yep. And uh, you guys do some awesome things over there. I've been over there months ago. Uh, Airman Duff was covering a story back in the day, and you guys pretty much kind of run your own show. Yeah, and it's And it's awesome. impressive. It's awesome. It's a group effort, and we really pull through every single time, which is amazing. We've been on the air for one year already this month. One year anniversary. Well, happy birthday to YCTV. Thanks. Absolutely. And uh, again, if someone's listening and they hear the uh, acronym CYSS, what does that stand for, Jared? Child, Youth, and School Services. You have such a radio voice, by the way. I practice it. Have once. I said that before? <laughs> yeah, I've heard it once or yeah. twice. <laughs> I've heard that once or twice, you'll see. It's better than mine. I feel like we should switch seats and then you can drive. No, you're good over there. Okay, well, I appreciate you being here. Well, what are we going to be talking about uh, in this edition of CYSS? Uh, we got a lot of upcoming events for February for the teenagers of Camp Humphreys. Uh, some dances coming up, some field trips, um, and a cool special event for the middle of the month. Well, I appreciate you guys being here at Jewel Bath and Jared. we got a great jam-packed show just for you. And you're in luck, you're listening to CYSS segment of sorts. I don't know if we really have a, a name for this segment, do we? Do we have like a cool, jingly type name? I don't think so, but I'll just say YCTV, just so I can plug them again. There you go. <laughs> I like what you did there. Maybe I'll come up with something. Maybe I'll come up with some uh, cheesy jingle. I like those. We're open for uh, options here. Yeah, okay. I like cheesy jingles, so maybe that'll come. But CYSS, that's Child Youth and School Services at Camp Humphreys. We've got Jared Barrick here. I'm going to do this in one breath. USAG Humphreys Family and MWR, CYSS Youth Services Director. Ooh, that's a big name tag. It's Jared. I know, right? He's got a huge name tag, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. And also Jewel Beth. I guess your name tag's a little smaller. Yeah, it's just a as lot Jewel Beth. Smaller, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's okay. Uh, I appreciate you both being here. We're talking about all sorts of stuff, child youth and school services, and YCTV as well. That's Youth Center Television. But uh, for this segment, effective, we want to talk about. Uh, Something that probably gives us uh, flashbacks to our childhood, which is a uh, middle school dance, right? Yeah, we're in the middle school sit around because yeah. sometimes I don't know how you look at it. The wallflowers, the men yeah. on one side and the women on the other. Exactly, we gotta have lots of chairs ready for them. Exactly, so we got a dance coming up for Valentine's. Yes, we do, and they will not be sitting around because we got their favorite DJ lined up for this one. Nice. Uh, but it's, it's gonna happen. Wait, now. I'm not gonna be there. What are you talking about? <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Um, Missed that one. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> we're gonna go off on Friday, February 13th. Um, and it's a good opportunity for us to actually partnering with the middle school on this one. Their student council came to us um, at the teen center mm -hmm. and asked if we could, you know, partner up and put a bigger event on. We do it for them in the homecoming in October and get a big turnout, like 80 to 90 uh, young 6th, 7th, and 8th oh, wow. Yeah, so uh, hopefully partnering with the school again here in February is going to give us another big turnout. So um, if you're in 6th, 7th, or 8th grade, um, the dance is going to happen Friday, February 13th at the school cafeteria. It's from 7 to 10 p.m. It's $5 at the door, and that's just to cover the cost of the food and sure. the DJ. Um, but you do not need to be pre-registered. You don't have to be registered with CYS. It's a partner with the school. So if you go to school, you're welcome to come to the dance. Pay $5 at the door. Just show up, and we'll go from 7 p.m. till 10 p.m. Was this put on uh, last year as well? Do you know? Uh, we did not do it for Valentine's. No, we did it last year for homecoming time. Because I was thinking about this, and since I call it camp renovation instead of Camp Humphreys, with the new schools going up, last year, if they did it or dances passed, is this the first time they've had one in that cafeteria, or is my math kind of fuzzy? Um, I believe they did their prom in the cafeteria the last prom there year. As well? The school wasn't open until the winter semester okay. last year. Yeah, they weren't open up in the fall. So it's nice. You're really a a new kind of state-of-the-art space for something yeah, like this. So it'll be the first time us and CYS will be in there and doing working with the school on this. But uh, yeah, like we did it last year, but we used uh, the gymnasium. Do you guys remember your middle school dances? I mean, is that something that's uh, 
locked away. Do you guys I'll let you that? take that one, Jewelbeth. Oh gosh. Oh That's gosh, all I have Jewel to say Beth. about middle school dances. Oh gosh, two words. Oh gosh, I do. If you're not going to say anything, I was living in England. My dad was stationed in the Air Force 21 years. We were stationed over there. I remember it very vividly. Uh, no doubt was all the rage at that time. That was like the <laughs> jam that everyone loved. And I specifically remember being uninhibited. We'll, we'll leave it that way. I had no problem kind of getting on the dance floor and just being silly. And I remember a lot of my friends were really nervous. And I went up to a guy who just, he was so nervous about dancing. And I just went up, and this is cheesy. I was like, I went up to him, I was like, come on, man. Like, dancing is cool. You can just do whatever, and it's dancing. And I kind of, like, flailed about, and he was like, oh, okay. And then we went out and danced that's, like crazy people. That's the attitude you need, though. We need more people that are enthusiastic about that. Um, you that, gotta have Young fun. people here are like that. They're actually, I remember ours, my, you know, anyway, it was a lot of sitting around. But these young was people, it? they're really not. Uh, we did the homecoming. We had the DJ out there, and they really get out there, and, and they're not afraid. And it's, it's a good, it's a good thing to see. What kind of uh, music was uh, popular when you went to middle school? Do you remember the, the oh, artists or bands? There's got to be some mine like. Mine was Guns and Roses. Guns and Roses, yes. That that was for me, yes. It's funny. I saw a commercial like years ago, and they were talking about how smell is like one of the things that's directly sensed, like uh, connected to memory. But I thought music as well was a really big one. You hear that song, and it takes you probably. Straight back to that middle yeah, school dance. Absolutely, that middle school dance would be uh, November Rain would be that last one to play. <laughs> Find your partner and everybody go. I like it. You didn't even give me an artist. You gave me a specific <laughs> name as well. Jewel Beth, you got nothing? Nothing? I mean, Kesha and Lady Gaga. That, okay. was, that was my middle school. <laughs> okay. Well, I know that there's many people listening right now, and they're probably thinking back to their middle school in those times, awkward or not. But uh, definitely, if they want to check this out, uh, Middle School Valentine's Dance, Friday, February 13th, 7 to 10. Uh, no registration required for this one. A uh, small fee at the door, and that's going to be at the high school cafeteria. High school cafeteria, 6th, 7th, and 8th graders just have to show up. Don't need to register early. Just come at the door, $5, and pizza, drinks, DJ, games. We'll have it all set up for you. It should be a lot of fun. Go be crazy, be silly like I did. Uh, you only get to do that once, or I guess if it's a three years long, three times. But uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. take advantage of it while you can. We'll take a break here. we back in 90 seconds with your weather. What's up? We're Hot Shell Ray. And you're watching YCTV. Perfect. There we go. That, that easy. Nailed it. <laughs> and that's the wrap. And Ron, I got Jewel Bath with YCTV, CYSS at Camp Humphreys. Also, Jared Barrick, the director of USAG Humphreys Family and MWRCYSS Youth Services. It's getting better and better. I just like saying it. It doesn't need to have to be said, but uh, I just like saying it. So I uh, appreciate you guys being here. We're talking about a Valentine's dance. If you missed it, the top of the hour there, middle school Valentine's dance, Friday, February 13th, 7 to 10 in the evening. No registration required. Small fee at the door at the high school cafeteria. But right now, keep it school related, of course. And this is near and dear to my heart, being a theater major, having been an actor before I enlisted. I love me some acting, theater, anything cheesy like that. We're talking about a high school murder mystery dinner? Yes, we are. Um, yes, please. This is a pretty popular one. Uh, this is the second one we've done for the high schoolers only. Um, so it's going to be for 9th through 12th graders. Okay. And it's going to take place Saturday, February 21st from 7 to 10 p.m. at the Community Activity Center in Ballroom. And um, what it is, uh, it's going to be a Mardi Gras themed event. Okay. Um, where the youth, uh, ninth through twelfth grade, need to uh, no sign up or registration, but they do need to stop into the youth center and get assigned a character. So basically, what we're talking about is it's going to be like Hunger Games style. We're going to have a volunteers tribute, and then someone will be murdered, and then we're going to have to figure out who does it, right? Yeah, sure. Maybe thirty people will come in, but only twenty nine will come out. Oh, that's too bad. I mean, I don't want to see someone die, but uh, it's got to be done. You know, it's a very popular event. We got to kill someone off. Absolutely, it's a lot of fun. It's actually a big live game of Clue, basically, is what I compare it to. Figuratively speaking, right? Absolutely. Right. Jewel Beth is really was a part of our last one. <laughs> but um, she's still alive. She's still here. Yeah, so she I made it. it. That's good. It was so much fun. We got to dress up at the end. We got to vote for best dress, who had the most money, who is our, the best actor or actress. It is a lot of fun, and we had food, and just to hang out with friends, and kind of be someone you're not. Was it what just, you expected? It was... 
even better. Yeah. I didn't expect that much, and I didn't think a lot of people would actually get into it, but people it's do. very popular. They totally I had so do. much fun. Yeah. It's really one of those things where I think most people are a little tentative going into things like that, and they're thinking, oh, maybe that's a little nerdy or maybe a little weird. I don't want to kind of, like, let my guard down. And then the second you do, it's like... You know, craziness just ensues at that point, right? Yeah. Yeah. I so, couldn't have said it better. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's it's almost as if I've done this before. Hmm. But no, I mean, if you're listening right now, you're a parent, you got some kids, you want to get involved in this one, highly encourage it because uh, creativity, just kind of a, a way to kind of get that out of your system, sounds like something perfect for you to do. But uh, what's the dates one more time for that and location? February 21st, that's a Saturday evening, 7 to 10 p.m. at the Community Activity Center Ballroom. You can stop by Building 427, which is our youth center, and talk to Miss Amanda, and she will give you a character. You can start coming by today. All the characters are ready, ready to be assigned. So the sooner you get in there, the better choice of a character you will have. We highly encourage that once getting said character, you talk in character until the actual event. Yes, what happens is Miss Amanda will give you, she gives you a, a, a summary of your character. So okay. you don't actually get lines, but sure. you get characteristics, mannerisms, a little bit of background history about that character. And then we leave it up to you to kind of decide how you want to play that character out, how you're going to dress for that evening, what you think this person would look like, sound like, talk like. Um, and then you go throughout the whole evening, uh, we'll have little games like Jewel Best said set up where sure. they do like they're, they're at a dinner party and they're, they're playing games and interacting and we really bring them together. Just numerous icebreaker activities so it's impossible to stand in the corner. I like uh, that it's Mardi, Ga Mardi Gras theme as well. Yeah. Like, Does that stuff kind of get pulled out of a hat to kind of decide or do you guys kind of get the brain trust together to say what would be fun this time? Well, a little bit of both. I think February is Mardi Gras time, I believe. I don't sure. Know for sure, we'll go with that. Yeah, sure. Sounds yeah, good. Yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> Um, but, but yeah, uh, it's just a, a good scenario and a good um, s story that we found. We'll definitely um, get involved with that one. I think that should be a lot of fun. And like I was saying before, as someone who's done this in the past, there's really nothing like just kind of letting your guard down and just kind of being someone you're not and being silly and having fun. And uh, if you're a parent, you want to get them uh, involved with this, this is through CYSS specifically? Yes, CYSS specific. So they do need to be registered with CYSS to participate, um, but it's free of charge. They just need to stop into building 1127 or call 753-3413. Fill out a couple pieces of paper so we have emergency contacts and things of that nature to make sure everybody's safe and healthy. Um, and then the, the, the event itself is free of charge. Registration is free of charge. Um, so if you're not registered, call 753-3413, free registration. That's too easy. I do have one question now that kind of jumped into my head. We serve three different installations effectively. We've got Suwon Air Base, we've got Osan Air Base here in Camp Humphreys. Some of the events are put on obviously at different installations. If someone's listening right now, they don't live at Camp Humphreys, is that kind of like a giant wall? Can they participate in this type of stuff? Is it more restricted to that installation? How does that work? Oh, it's not a giant wall. Um, just a small wall. Just a small, small wall. wall you you know, because uh, uh, we run in contact a lot of this at Camp Humphreys because the schools used to be together. Sure. So we allow the students of Camp Humphreys to bring guests. Okay. And they can sign them in and they can take part of our events for a one-time thing. But to actually be registered at Camp Humphreys, they would need to be... Uh, Station there. families working at Camp Humphreys. Well, that's good to but know. Young people from Osan want to come with a friend that they have at Camp Humphreys, always welcome. Okay, so the real takeaway there is that you can get involved, just kind of a small stipulation, a little hurdle of a wall. And it's not a big deal, it's just to sign your name next to the person who brought you. That's too easy, so definitely check that out Saturday, February 21st from 7 to 10, Community Activity Center Ballroom. We got more show on the way, don't go anywhere if you From CYSS, that's Child Youth and School Services, also YCTV, Youth Center Television. I got Jewel Beth and Jared Barrick in the studio with me. Thanks uh, both for being here. Oh, it's been my pleasure. Thanks for having us. Love coming. I love that you guys come as well. It's a great show so far. Let's see if we can keep it up. First break, if you missed it, Middle School Valentine's Dance, Friday, February 13th, 7 to 10 in the evening at the high school cafeteria. Also, a high school murder mystery dinner. Saturday, February 21st, 7 to 10, Community Activity Center's Ballroom. That's high school only, grades 9 through 12, of course. It's kind of a Mardi Gras theme, but right now I want to talk about something a little more adventurous. And this is near and dear to my heart because I did this exact thing 
just this past Monday. What am I talking about? Well, it's going to be adventurous in more ways than once. We're going skiing and then we're staying there for the night. So it's going to be a long weekend. I'm telling you, if you've never done anything like this, you have to get involved. Uh, skiing, snowboarding, whatever you're going to do on this trip should be a lot of fun. But specifics. Yeah, it's going to be a great time and the kids will have a choice between skiing and or snowboarding. Uh, but what we are doing is we're taking a ninth through 12th grade. Um, this is something the young people came up with themselves and said they need more trips and they like overnight trips for the high school only population. So we have something planned for them on Saturday, February 28th and we'll go until Sunday, March 1st. And we're gonna go to Yangji Pine Ski Resort. Um, so we're gonna have an uh, opportunity to go skiing uh, or snowboarding, um, their choice. Um, it's a big resort, so they have a bowling alley there, they have a swimming pool, they have an arcade, karaoke machine, so we're gonna have all that stuff available for them too after the ski, so we don't have to be bored for the whole night. I don't um, think you'll be bored. No, I mean, I these places, so I've been to a couple of them and they're just jam-packed with things to do. Uh, but it's really, it's going to be a great deal for the young people. It's going to cost them only $60. Um, and that's the, the fee to get signed up for the program. And it'll include everything, the transportation, all the equipment rental. Um, it includes the room. Sure. It includes meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, they're just going to need money if they want to play arcade games or they want to get snacks or something like that. But we also are going to provide the uh, bowling or the swimming because those are additional costs as well. And CYS is going to pick that up for them too. Um, so just for 60 bucks, uh, what covers their entire weekend. Um, and we'll leave Saturday, February 28th. We'll leave at 10 in the morning. And we'll be back Sunday, March 1st at 11 in the morning. So we get rid of them for the whole night. So what about uh, like gear specifically? Like I'm assuming this is going to include like your snowboard or your skis, depending on which one you're going to choose, things yeah, like that? Yeah, they, they get to choose. And it okay. gives them their poles. Um, it gives them the helmet. It gives sure. them the skis. It actually okay. gives them a vest to wear and oh, all okay, that good. stuff too. So really all they're going to need to bring is, is pants to ski down in and, and yeah. uh, you know, uh, gloves. Uh, the jacket will be provided for them. Um, so just warm, but everything else will get, will get warm. Yeah, I went this past uh, Monday, went to uh, Dragon Valley Resort, where I went with one of the trips here at ITT. I uh, went skiing this time. Last year I went snowboarding. Uh, if someone's listening right now, especially if they have a, a child that's you know thinking of doing something like this, it might be a little intimidating because they're thinking, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it. Uh, rest assured, they'll have instructors there that help everyone. Yes, You'll sir. have all the protective gear for it. And in terms of learning it, that's why they have the easy hills, the medium hills, the difficult hills. So don't let that kind of scare you. As someone who had never skied or snowboarded before until this past year, I did both. That's a lot of fun. Yeah, no, I'm glad you brought that up. Yeah, they don't need any experience. We're actually yeah. going to have volunteers who know how to ski with us, and they also have, are including instructors as part of our package as well. So we'll have instructors from the resort, and we'll have some volunteers with us on our trip that will be with us for the night too. So we'll take care of everybody, no matter what your level of skiing sure. is. If you just want to come out and have a good time and have fun with us, um, come on out again. It's a $60 registration fee, and they need, and I need to say this, they need to register by February 18th. February 18th. Yes, and I'll say it again. February 18th. Every trip I have, I have wait, a registration Jared, deadline. What date was that February again? 18th. <laughs> Don't wait till February 19th because the oh office boy. will be closed for Lunar New Year. I'm going to fall asleep with like February 18th. I hope like so. Over February over. 18th. So is it February 18th they have to be registered by? Uh, I have to be registered by February 18th <laughs> at 6 at 6 p.m. actually. 6 p.m. Our audience 18th. is like, will they stop saying it? Ah. Well, I always extend registration deadlines, but I can't do it for this one because I need to reserve sure. the rooms. And I've been put on a deadline by the resort to tell them by the 20th sure. what I need so if it makes don't sense. register by February 18th I can't take <laughs> we need it like a little bell that goes off ding, 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 every time we like mention the date but uh, definitely get involved with this one uh, it is so much fun and as someone who's been to different resorts here in the Republic of Korea they are the gorgeous yeah. They're beautiful. Well, Jewel Beth just went to this exact resort with her family a couple weeks ago, you said? Yeah, it was really awesome. Like you said, bowling, karaoke, going down ski hills, and even snowboarding. It's really awesome. It really is. And for a, uh, a country that doesn't get a lot of snow unless you're in that like part of mm -hmm. the country, you get to be around a bunch of snow, and you don't have to worry about it not being cold enough for snow to be. Because trust me, when you get there, there will be snow as you get up in the altitude. When I went on Monday... Went all the way to the top. I'd never skied before until this past Monday, and I learned a little bit of first. And it's kind of my insider tip. If you've never gone, try to get out of your head as quickly as possible. Just kind of trust that you'll take, you know, your body will kind of take over if you're not thinking about it too much. Um, and I went to an intermediate hill on my first day. Went to the top of the mountain. 20-minute gondola ride to the very top. It's like, like wind is just like crazy. And, uh... It's fine. Like, don't let it intimidate you. Just go and have a lot of fun. And again, that's with CYSS. That's child, youth, and school services and overnight trips. So just a smorgasbord of stuff to do. Definitely get involved. What was the deadline again for that to, to sign up, was it? Let me look that up. But I believe it's February 18th. <laughs> 
to me, that'll never get old. And for our audience, they're like, hey, Sp- uh, Sergeant Loy, it, it got old. So um, appreciate you guys coming. We'll take a little break here, wrap up the show in 90 seconds. a National Honor Society member, students must demonstrate good qualities in their everyday life. In addition to demonstrating these qualities, you also have to maintain above a 3.5 GPA and also volunteer in your community. What's unique about NHS is that you're not just, you can't just walk in. It's, you're given an invitation to join, become a member, and it is your responsibility to fill out that application, get the recommendations, and even past that, you're, you're not automatically accepted. You have to, like I said before, you have to get um, approved by a committee of teachers. All of our members strive to push past the average students. It motivates them to be the best person they can be. Members of National Honor Society demonstrate four pillars, leadership, character, service, and scholarship. I feel like I have the ability to adapt to anything around me. Um, you can put me in a situation where it'll be completely out of my element, but for some reason I just have the ability to just go in there and take it by, by the storm and just, just roll with it. A leader is necessary. Um, I like to believe that I can, I can really take a hold of a situation when it's necessary and lead people in the right direction. I tried very hard to become involved in sports, many extracurricular clubs, um, doing community service hours, and I have to, you know, juggle getting a pass of 3.5 GPA in order to stay in NHS. The future projects of National Honor Society, um, we have several coming up. The first of which is a clothing drive that we're going to start post Christmas break. We're going to set up boxes around the school and be collecting clothing that we will then take to orphanages of um, underprivileged children. We are Humphreys High School National Honor Society, and you're watching YCTV. Ever. Well, I appreciate you guys being here, and as we wrap up, we don't got a whole lot of time, but anything we missed, anything we want to plug, any shout-outs you want to do before we say bye-bye? i just like to tell everybody, if you want more information on the high school uh, ski trip, they can call the Youth Center directly, 753-5614. Um, I know some parents may be concerned overnight trips, what the plan is, what the schedule is. Call that phone number, 753-5614, and we'll give you full details, everything you need to know. And that is too easy. Jewel Beth, you want to do a shout-out at all? Anything you want to put on? I'd like to say hi to my parents, my mom and dad, and my brother Brady and my sister and Margaret. Well, I appreciate you both coming on kind of behind the scenes. My, my army brethren, they're sitting behind me. You can't see them, you can't really hear them, but they're here kind of doing the technical side of things uh, for you guys at Camp Humphreys. Appreciate you guys being here, uh, tipping my, my figurative hat to them, but I appreciate all of you being here. And again, if you've never really listened to the show before, CYSS, it's Child Youth and School Services, tons of programming you guys put on over there i mean kudos to you for trying to like corral all the things that you do yeah sky's the limit you want information on any of the programs we have for 18 months all the way to 18 years old uh 753-3413 that's our parent central office they can get you in touch with the right department for the right age group and give you all the information on all the other programs we have to offer too easy i appreciate both of you being here great show uh, i really enjoyed it head on to our facebook page afno sign the official page on facebook i may or may not have forced them to take kind of a groupy picture but uh, it's a great one put that on our page appreciate you listening to cyss as well and of course our station afno son let's get back to the music with magic (laughs) 